Hello. Uh, I am uh, just going to post a video about this uh, lathe that I'm selling. Uh, some uh, questions came in about the uh, run out on the spindle. So I decided I would uh, make a video and show that. Um, it doesn't look bad. Uh, again, it's you know what you're getting when you get one of these. So, um, But I tightened everything up as well as I could. The bearings actually look really good, like they've been replaced sometime in the past. Um, but uh, the run out on the on the bearing itself here I'll put a little I'll put a little dot on the spindle so you can kind of watch it run I don't know how well see I put a little put a little mark there so hopefully it'll show up a little better keep it on focus I know, I don't have a steady rest for this, but you see I'm turning the wheel here because I don't want the vibration. It's not really a great um, travel gauge either, but oh yeah, that shadow helps too. It's, it's moving about a fifth of one of those marks, so about one fifth of uh, tens, hundreds, about one fifth of a thousandth, if that makes any sense. So that'd be like uh, point 0.2, that'd be like two ten thousandths. I know, my math. Um, I'll fire the motor up so you can see it that way. It's not bad, but it's an old machine, and I've mentioned that the chuck has some issues. Um, I mean, it's it's a three-jaw chuck. Uh, it looks like looks like it's been chewed up a little bit, um, and that's another one of those things. You know what you're getting into, especially with a three-jaw chuck. But as long as you're doing new work or and keeping everything inside the chuck, um, it doesn't do too bad, and uh, and that's where we're at.